Good morning students. So today I'm going to prepare a temporary mount of onion peel to study plant cell. For this I need some material. I require one onion, forceps, brush, watch glass, petri dish, cover slips, glass slide, knife, dropper, stain to give color to the plant cell or to the onion peel. For staining the onion peel, we usually use saffronin but you can also use the methylene blue but commonly for plant cell we use the saffronin and here we have glycerin to prevent the dryness of the material so to prevent the drying of the material we need the glycerin and at last we need filter papers to remove excess stain and here I have microscope to observe the onion peel here I have fitted camera on it which is connected to my laptop so later on I will show you the slide of onion peel in my laptop now first let's prepare the temporary mount of onion peel for this first what I will do from the inner side of this onion, I have taken a piece of onion from this. So using the forcep, what I will do, I will remove the onion peel. You can use the forcep and then or maybe by hand, you can take a thin onion peel so let me remove so here we go so I have taken this onion peel Similarly, I have taken some more onion peels. Here I have more onion peels. Here you can see. So the next step is to spread this onion peel on the glass slide. So here we have glass slide. So what I will do. So using this forceps. I will shift onion peel on glass slide. So here I am going to spread it. Make sure the onion peel should not fold. Otherwise you won't be able to observe the cells under the microscope. So here I am spreading it. You can take small piece of onion peel. You can cut this onion peel using the blade. So my next step is what I will do using this saffronin. I will stain this onion peel. So I have already stained one onion peel here you can see. So using this brush I have stained this onion peel. Then my next step is to put drop of glycerin. So using forcep or maybe using the brush, what you can do, you can put a drop of glycerin on it to prevent drying the material. So then next step is to put 
cover slip on it that will prevent further its dryness and it will also spread the material properly so using the forcep I will put this cover slip on the slide now make sure that you are putting the cover slip very carefully otherwise bubbles may come in the material so that will obstruct while observing the slide under the microscope so here our slide is ready that is the temporary mount of onion peel so that's how you have to prepare the onion slide of onion peel you can use the filter paper to remove the excess stain so here I'm pressing gently so that I can remove the excess stain and the glycerin so here our slide is now ready now the next step is to observe it under the microscope so let me show you it under the microscope so let me adjust my laptop stop hmm. so uh, here what I have done this is the microscope you should know about the parts of the microscope here is a reflecting mirror to focus the light on the material here we have the ocular lenses here we have the focuses major focus and minor focus to adjust the material here we used to put eyepiece to observe the material with our eyes but here I'm putting one digital camera which is connected to my laptop here so I have focused my material so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna show you material so here you can see the material look these are the cells which you can see here this is the nucleus at one corner this is the cell wall so look at the beautiful cells of the onion peel stained with the saffronin and observing under the simple microscope so from here you can see that we discuss about the structure of the plant cell that in the plant cell the nucleus is usually at one corner so here you can see the nucleus at one corner at different places and all the cells nucleus is at one corner what is the reason behind this the presence of the vacuole the outermost covering is the cell wall here you can't see the vacuole here a little bit vacuoles are observing this non-staining area you can see but if you want to study clearly about the structure of the vacuole you need the electron microscope so here we have the uh, temporary slide of onion peel so once your schools will start so you will prepare by your own uh, this temporary mount of onion peel in the laboratory and maybe after a few days I will show you another experiment related to the temporary mount of human cheek cells so that we can compare the plant cell and the animal cell so thank you so for your reference I will use send you this uh, the picture of this onion peel also so have a good day thank you